Hello friends, today we are going to see how to create and join in a Google Classroom. So to use the Google Classroom, we need to have our Gmail ID. So I have logged into my own Gmail ID. So once we log into our own Gmail ID, we can find the Google Apps on the top right corner of the screen. So this is a Google App. We can click here and we can find the Google Classroom. So we have to choose the Google Classroom. So if we don't find the Google Classroom in the Google app, simple, we can choose the Google search bar. Here we can type Google Classroom. So this app will display here and we can download it from this site. Okay, since already I have the Google Classroom app, so I need not download it again. So if we don't find the Google Classroom app in this add-ons, we can download it from the Google search tab. Okay. Now this is our classroom window, Google Classroom window. So all first we have to create our own class. So again in the top right corner, we can see a plus icon. This icon is used to create or join a class. So since this is the first time, we are going to create a class. So let me create two classes. So you're going to click here and choose create class. So you're going to check this box and click continue. So we can give the classroom here. So first I name the classroom as BCA. We can give any section and here the subject. Room is optional so we can click create so now a classroom with the name bca for the subject visual programming is created for me so one classroom one class is done the second i'm going to create another class so the same procedure we're going to click this icon create class check this box continue the class name it will be BSC and here we need not have any section. And room number is also optional. So now I'm going to click create. So I have created two classes now. In such a way we can have any number of classes. So this is a second class, BSC. So this was our first class, BCA. And every class will have its own unique class code. So this is the class code. So this class code, we're going to pass it to our students through our uh, WhatsApp. We can, that is the easiest way to pass the class code. We can share it to them and they can use this code to join our classroom. And we can select the theme here. These are optional things just for us to know. We can select any theme. Or we can upload our own class photo from the system. So this is how we can do it. So this way we can do it. We can upload a photo from us, which is stored in our system also. So first, what we have to check in a classroom is, we go to the settings. If we want, we can change the classroom. If we had made some mistakes, we can change it. The section, this uh, subject, we have the class code here. This is a unique class code. And we have an option called as stream. So here, there are three options available. Students can post and comment. Students can only comment. Only teachers can post or comment. So I prefer with these two options, students can only comment. They can just give a reply. So students can post and comment. In this case, the students can also post any activities like we have in our WhatsApp group. We can have a control. That means can have a control. Two options can be done. So here for this BCA, I choose students can post and comment. If we do any changes, 
so in bca we have chosen students can uh, post or comment so whatever uh, changes in settings we do we have to save it so the settings for this class is saved so now there are two classes bsc and bca so in bca in the same way we can go to the settings and here we can change it as only teachers can post or comment again we are going to save it now two classrooms are ready bsc and bca now i want the students so let me join the students for this uh, bca section a class so i'm going to copy this class code i'm going to pass this class code to the students uh, whatsapp number maybe to the students group so all the students would have received this code and they can join uh, through their uh, gmail id in the same way classroom using the particular code so let me join as a student we'll see how it will look for a student so i'm going to join with another gmail id consider this <coughs> mail id as a student in the same way now the student has logged in this is another gmail account she is going to the top right corner click on google apps search for classrooms and after clicking on the classroom now the student is going to click this plus icon here join the class she has to join the class it lasts for the class code and she's going to type the unique code which was shared by her teacher and she's going to click join so now one student has joined here for the student it will be like this bca section a and the name of the class in charge the username of, of the particular classroom so this is how it will look for the student so when this is my ID, that is a teacher's ID. So after clicking refresh, we can see here one student has joined. One student has joined. So we have to click on the particular class. We have to go to the people's tab. Here we can see a tab called as people. When you choose there, we can see the details of the student. So what is the name of the student here? Alan Daniel, this is the name of the student here. Okay. Okay. Now, this is how we join a student. Now, we're going to see the second method to join a student that is using the mail ID. So, for this uh, BAC uh, uh, class, choose the people tab. And here we can see an icon. We see an option called as invite student so for to uh, join student through this method we need to know the mail id of the particular student so i'm going to click over so if i know the mail id of the student i can pass it to her mail id in the same way we can have any number of uh, mail ids we can invite the student any number of student in a single time so now i'm going to invite one particular student so i'm going to click on invite icon so now this particular student has been invited through mail id it is not yet activated here we can just see the action it is invited so let me log in through the particular student I, uh, mail id So this is another student she has received yes she has received an invitation from a class in charge so the class in charge has invited and she has to click join so when she clicks join she can join to the particular class bsc
yes now the student uh, has joined using the mail id so this is one uh, one student uh, for a bsc classroom and this is another student for bca classroom so remember for one class we had given the option the class in charge had given the option that the students can post or comment the stream the students can post and comment that is for bca and for cs the class in charge had given the option as only the teachers can post or comment okay so we'll just see in the students uh, classroom so this is for the bca classroom when we click that can we see the option here share something with your class so the student has an option to share something with a class in the same way for the student in the bsc class she will not have that option because the teacher has given has set the option to only the teachers can post or comment so this is how the classroom will look for the student according to the teacher's settings so this is from the student's end and this is from the class teachers and so there are two students now to check with the students we have to go to the people and here the name of the student here in the same way for bca class we have to go to the people and we can see the name of the student in the same way any number of students can join so there are two ways to join one using the unique code one using the mail id So from the student's end, uh, if the student, if she wants to, if she doesn't want to attend the class, she can give an enroll. So it is here actually. You can, we can find the three uh, white dots here. It is not visible uh, due to the um, uh, color of the picture here. We will have three vertical white dots. So once we click that, we will have an option called as unenroll. So if the student clicks unenroll, she will be automatically unenrolled from the particular class. So now when the teacher, when she checks it, student will not be here. In the same way, in this is the teacher's classroom window here. Uh, here we can see the three vertical dots. So if you want to delete a classroom, First, we are going to click this and you're going to give archive. Same way, click here and we can click archive. And now when we click in the top left corner, we have three bars here. We can see archived classes. Either we can restore it. or we can delete it. So once we delete, the entire classroom will be deleted and we have to create uh, the classroom again from the beginning. So I give restore. We can also delete the classroom. So this is how we can delete the classrooms, the created classroom. In the same way, when we click on the Google Apps, we can go to Drive. So this is my Google Drive. Here, automatically, we have a option called as Classroom. When we click that, so here, these are the folders which are opened in my Google Drive under the folder name Classroom. So whatever I class uh, classes I create through the Google Classroom, the folders will be automatically generated in the particular drive. So the classroom which we create using uh, the Google Classroom, the folders will be created in our particular Google Drive. So this is just an information. So this is how we create and uh, join using the Google Classroom.